Hey, Callie, do you think we should do a second example? Yeah, me too. Let's look here. But before we do get to our second example, we notice that Mrs. K made a spelling boo-boo. Quotient does not have two I's, it only has one. So if I look here, quotient is actually spelled Q-U-O-T-I-E-N-T. -E so make sure that you change that in your notes. Now on to our next problem. If I want to now find what 0 0.025 divided by 0 0.05 is. It's got a lot of zeros in it, and if I try to make that into my long division, I know that my divisor, or my divid dividend of 0 0.025 goes on the inside, and my divisor, 0 0.05, goes on the outside. Now, I know that in my first example up here that I only moved my decimal place once because that means I was multiplying by 10. But if I want my divisor to be a whole number, if I just move my decimal place once, that doesn't really help me because I'm still going to have 0.5. So instead, I need to be able to find what my, my divisor would be if it was a whole number. So if I write in my show work, let's rewrite this problem as a fraction. So 0 0.025 divided by 0 0.05. I need to be able to create an equivalent fraction where my denominator is now a whole number. So I can't multiply it by 10, but I can multiply by anything that's divisible by 10, which also includes 100. So let's see what happens when I multiply and become an equivalent fraction when I multiply by my numerator and my denominator by 100. So I know that 0 0.025 times 100, so I'm going to write it this way, because I know that I won't be able to multiply 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 2. If I add those up, I get 25,000. However, when multiplying, I move my decimal place 1, 2, 3. Same here, 1, 2, 3. So I get a new numerator of 2.5. If I multiply 100 times 0 0.05, 0, 0, 5, move my decimal place twice, I now have a whole number of 5. So now I know that instead of multiplying it by 10, I multiply it by 100. So for ever many zeros that I have when I multiply, that's as many numbers, or any, as many times as I need to move. So one, two, how many times I need to move my decimal? One, two, one, two. So now I have my new decimal points. So I'm now dividing 2.5 by five. This makes it a little easier for me because 5 going into 2.5 is a lot easier for me to comprehend than just 5 one hundredths into 25 thousandths. So now I just go with my long division. How many times does 5 go into 0? Zero? 0 times. How many times does 5 go into 0? Again. How many times does 5 go into 2? 0 times. How many times does 5 go into 25? I know 5 goes into 25 5 times. 5 times 5 gives me 25. I subtract and end with 0 as a remainder. So I know that I have my final answer of 0 0.025 divided by my point z 0 0.05 is equal to my final answer of not 5. But I need to remember about my decimal that this is 0 0.5. So my quotient or my final answer of dividing two numbers is 0 0.5.